don't eat the jelly at the market. I've got the worst stomach ever. Buenos dias from Cusco. We made it back. Getting out of Machu Picchu area was an absolute nightmare. We had to walk another 11, 12 kilometers out of Aguas Calientes, get a taxi from there. Everyone was trying to jump in the taxis. We finally agreed a price with a taxi driver. We were about to get in and a group turned up. So he let them in and didn't, didn't take us. We got the next taxi, we had to wait 20 minutes. Sure enough, halfway down the road, the guys pulled over with a puncture and, and the group who took our spot, all standing on the side of the road, stranded. Wankers. <laughs> Empanada. It's basically like a puff pastry with chicken, onion. They put this salsa stuff in there too. Very, very nice. Straight off the street. Two solids each. Well, good value, really. I know it's a lot of pastry and not a lot of filling, but they taste so good and they're a good little snack just to have as you're walking around. So, if you can find any of these here, give them a go. Don't be scared to eat them because they're f***ing good. What we're doing now is we are trying to organize going to Rainbow Mountain. We're gonna try and book that tour up for tomorrow and then we need to get to the Amazon rainforest. Uh, somewhere I've wanted to go since I was a child, but we're looking at $300 per person for a flight, which is not doable. It's only done, it's only like a couple hour flight. It's 10 hours on the uh, bus, but we need to work out how to get a bus first. She's telling us we need to go to the bus station. I think we'll be able to just do it online. So we just need to look into that now and I'll let you know what, uh, how to do it because it's, yeah, it's not as simple as I thought it was going to be. Isn't any fucking dope? Right. Right guys, we are at the San Pedro Market in Cusco. We've been told that you can get anything here from ponchos to pig heads. Come here to get your snacks for your bus journeys, your treks, your stuff. For example, we got these at the San Pedro Market, seven souls per bar. No. For example, we just got these here. For example, we got both of these bars, seven souls per bar. Seven souls? Seven souls per bar for our long ass bus journey tomorrow. Next thing we've got to do is get some nuts. Was here, it was this one. Mixto? Mixto uh, of nuts? We had one before. Six soles. Okay. okay. What is this? This is palijuca. Palijuca? Palijuca. Okay. Okay. What is it? Tastes like air. I could not Oh god, that's dry, isn't it? It's dry. Very dry, tasteless. It's like eating them. Um, like a nut stick. No, like something that you would find inside your package to like stop it from breaking. Well, like foam. Like foam. Yellow dragon fruit. Apparently, these are a lot nicer than the pink ones. They're sweeter and they're from South America. Maybe so, we should get one. Yeah, we should get one. Twelve fifty. Okay. Twelve solids. Twelve solids. Gracias. They've got loads of weird fruit. Never seen that before. Never seen that before. Mucho gracias. 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 Adios. Twelve solids is actually quite expensive. How much is that? One pound something. No, it's like two pound fifty. Priceless for a fruit we've never tried before. Apparently, you can get pig heads in here as well. Not all that I never like to see, but let's go check it out. 
what we always see, I don't know what it is, is this in the bucket? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Hola. ¿Qué es eso? Oh, like butter. Uh, mantequilla. Pork. Pork. Oh, okay. It's like a, okay, gracias, gracias. Pork that we've just been told. The direct translation from Spanish is pork. 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 Hola. Wow. This is like um, offal. That stuff there, that is what I had uh, in Vietnam in like a beef offal uh, like soup with um, noodles. It was weird. It's very. It's not very easy to eat. It's uh, it's very like tough. So it's very. Um, rubbery it feels like you're eating like rubber tubes it does not feel edible at all it's like all the arteries and stuff from inside a cow that's what that is and uh, they'll make that up into a soup or something and, and just, just eat it like that but i found it extremely difficult to eat i could i couldn't even eat it i got bored of just chewing it um because i just couldn't couldn't swallow it <laughs> oh look hearts Hola. Got a whole aisle for um, cow snouts. Costas? Este cinco soles. Cinco? Este siete. Siete. Okay, gracias, gracias. Mm. You got all sorts of things here. They're like bottle holders. It's just a little strap that goes around your shoulder. <laughs> little colourful hats. Definitely wouldn't get away with wearing that in the UK without looking like you're... This is definitely the cheapest place to get any of your uh, ponchos or, you know, everyone wears all the llama -y stuff here. This is the cheapest place to get it. Don't go anywhere else. All those little stores and that, like they definitely try and rip you off over double the amount of what, of what you'll pay here. This is the cheapest place because they're all in so much competition with each other. There's a massive food hall in here as well. Heaps of food, and it's all good, good quality as well. Because if, if you get a reputation for food, giving people food poisoning in here, you'll get to get shut down, and they'll bring someone else in. It brings in so many people, so you know that all the street food in here is going to be safe. You're very unlikely to get uh, food poisoning in here. So if you want to try any of the local foods and stuff, this is a good place to come. Look at these. They look interesting. Hola. Here's a uh, sauce, gelatina, like a uh, jelly. I think they look, uh, I'm gonna get one. Okay. okay. Try this jelly then. Hopefully it's not made of tap water. Will be. It's good. Does it taste like normal jelly? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be made of tap water, won't it? I didn't want to say anything before you bought it. Why? Because I, you say that I'll ruin, ruin it, so. You should definitely have said something before I bought it. You, you don't know, see no other, you don't see no other tourists eating this shit, do you? Tastes good, I'm going to take the risk. One time? No. I want to go to Rainbow Mountain tomorrow. <laughs> They have to boil the water because to make jelly you have to have hot water don't you? Don't know. Yeah because that melts the jelly into it and then it sets as hot water. It's all good. So here we've got um, like ca fish fish eggs like caviar and they've got uh, like river algae here as well it's like a river seaweed but they look like little balls. I thought they were the fish eggs but it's not it's just some type of weed. Another thing you can do as well if you want to get used to the altitude or if you get like symptoms of altitude sickness if you don't want to chew the leaves because they are not very nice to chew to be honest I, I probably last about three days chewing them and then i got bored of them you can get coca candy which is actually meant to be a really good way of getting the same sort of effects to stop you feeling sick and to stop you and to help you with your breathing up in the high altitude 
the, the candy is actually meant to be a really good way to do it. And they sell that all over the place in here. 10 soles for a massive bag of them. So um, this is, again, the cheapest place to come to to get that sort of stuff. Now, I know uh, a lot of people think of South America and they think you're going to get robbed. It's got a very unfortunate stereotype of that. But I've just been walking around in that market with this iPhone 15 Pro Max in my hand the whole time and not one person has even tried to uh, rob out my hand. So might have been lucky, but just to let you know that it's not as dangerous as they say. You just got to be really careful. All right, I've got the worst food poisoning ever. Don't eat the jelly at the market. I take back everything I said, fuck the market. Don't even bother. <laughs> Get your snacks in there and leave it at that, at that because it's, yeah, I've, I've been bad. Guess what guys, there's another incident of uh, Dan having food poisoning and I'm fine. Great, awesome, thanks. <sighs> yeah, again, I get food poisoning. Try and immerse yourself and you're just gonna end up getting screwed over for it. <laughs>